this video looks cool. Ah. The touch is not working. Why? Because this is not a touchscreen monitor. It's just a regular monitor. But how cool it would be if we could convert this regular monitor into a touchscreen monitor, right? So in this video, let's just do that and we will attempt to convert this monitor into a touchscreen monitor using a camera, Python scripts and ChatGPT. Yes, we will make use of it. So we want to somehow track our finger. We want to look at the screen and somehow use this data to analyze where we are touching. And let's see where it goes. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Uh, so here we are preparing the setup and we will remove this stand and we are placing the monitor flat on the table so that we can mount our tripod something like this and we will use our phone's camera along with this tripod to have a top view of our screen. We can adjust the height of this tripod so that we can have a better view and we just want to look at the screen right along with our hands. So this is good. Uh, we are switching back to our code. So in the new tab, let's just open chat GPT. Right, and here, what we're going to do, we are going to ask it to write a code for us, right? So let's speed things up and just write the prompt. So let's just hit enter and let's see what we get. The cursor to those points, right? This will not really work, but let's just copy this and open Visual Studios. Okay, we can start create a new file and let's just name it um, attempt one by right. You can save it somewhere and yes, let's just paste the code. And in this video capture, it is zero. We'll see which camera it is taking. We can use iPhone's camera or MacBook, so that we are going to do. So let's just run this Python file and let's see what is happening. You already have these libraries installed. If you don't have it, so it's better to pip install it, right? Let's see what is happening. Okay, okay, okay. Something is happening, but just run it again looks like some error yeah so now we have the field right and what is happening let's see okay so when we are bringing our hand we can see it is detecting and the cursor is actually moving you can notice the cursor as well right yep oh, okay so but there are some issues when I'm moving my hand up, it is moving it down. Yes, the camera is looking at the screen in an opposite way, right? So you can see this is an inverted view of the monitor. So that's why we are having this issue. You know, so let's just fix it. Let's press Q to stop the video feed, and what we can do is. Let's just turn it. This is one now. Let's turn it to minus one. So this will actually what it will do. It will invert for both vertically and horizontally. Right. So let's just turn it again. Let's see what happens now. Hmm. Okay. So now it seems that yep. Now when we are bringing our hand from down, it is coming from down only, right? This is our hand, this is our index finger. We'll move up, it is going up. When we move down, it is going down. Left and left, right and right, right. So this is something is working. But here, if we move our index finger over the edges, we can see the cursor is moving, but it is not really in position with the screen and it is enclosing a very small rectangle, right? Why is that? Because you can see in the camera feed, there is the monitor and then there's this keyboard and part of the table, right? So what we have done now, we have projected a black screen with these four circles. And as soon as the image is projected, it will crop and just take the monitor as our region of interest. And now when our finger is moving, you can see it is moving much more accurately, right? See, the cursor is almost at the same position as a 
as I am moving my index finger, right? So it is much better, it is not very accurate and it, it is lagging a bit as well but still it is much better than before. So that's about it and now what we have done, we have opened paint and added a clicking feature, right? So when I bring my index finger and middle finger together, it will click. So if I want to click and draw, I just need to bring these two fingers and move. So let's try to draw some shape, right? So what about a circle? Okay, so let's reload the page. Now we'll take the brush, take red color and let's draw a circle. So I will click and start drawing. Okay, so this is a big circle. Oh, but yes, we were able to draw something uh, even though it is not a closed circle, but still it works, right? Let's try some other features. Uh, here we are just trying to click and show that it is working. Maybe the precision is not very good, but if you look, it does the job, right? So it's not that bad. So let's end this video with our signature. And yes, so this here I'm trying to write Harsh, which is my name. And this is my rough signature, yes. Okay, so it works pretty well. I really enjoyed working on this project and I hope you liked it too. So subscribe for more such content.